Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel NEL Tag Champion. If you have not like and subscribe the channel, please like and subscribe the channel. Okay. So in this uh, video, I am going to share how what is the difference between the compliance policy and the configuration policy. If you are new to this channel, you this channel is regarding the sharing news about Microsoft Endpoint Manager, previously called as Intune. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the, the Intune configuration policy and compliance policy. Okay, most people generally it's, it's quite confusing and 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 most of the time, I mean, as a Intune admin, uh, get confused between and then policy conflict, right? And policy because of this, um, if you do some wrong configuration and got confused between these two policy, you may uh, I mean the policy may conflict, right? And this is the most of the uh, Intune admin will face this. I mean, it's uh, as per my experience, I have seen this. So, so what is actually um, the compliance policy, right? So compliance policy is a setting, right? So here, where you have to go. You have to go into the devices and you see the compliance policy right and and under this and if you go back you see the compliance policy and configuration policy so we, we're going to talk about these two right here so let's first go to the compliance policy and understand what is the compliance policy so you see um, the compliance policies actually these these compliance policy are mostly used in combinations with with the conditional Azure conditional access or even the Intune conditional access to check uh, whether certain device a uh, check check a device for certain settings and then set a compliance flag right it can also be uh, used for the reporting purpose in certain settings like for BitLocker passcode or jailbroken or anything right and uh, if you uh, if you apply the same um, uh, same compliance policy uh, with the same settings right I mean if you apply more than one compliance policy with, with the same settings and so in that case the most restrictive value right like if in, in one policy if you set the pin value 4 and another policy compliance policy if you set the 6 then the most restrictive value will will take effect right however the configuration policy while the configuration policy is actually instead are the way to configure it's not to check right it will not check anything it will invoke the users it will invoke the device users to set the passcode right if you are like for example if you have created the policy configuration policy to set the password or deny simple password right so it will not check it will just enforce or invoke the setting on the devices and ask users to uh, set the device passcode to meet the compliance right so if, if the two configuration pol policies like similar like I have um, explained you for the compliance if you apply the two configuration policy with the same settings they, they they will be conflict and the, the configurations policy will not apply right so with this com, com, if you apply two uh, compliance policy with the same setting the more restrictive the more restrictive value will apply but in the case of configurations policy the setting will not I mean they will conflict and the setting will not even apply so make sure you know you know uh, right now now uh, and and the most interesting thing is if you apply the same policy like passcode profile in the configuration profile and the passcode compliance policy in the compliance policy so what will happen the compliance policy always track precedence over the configuration policy right like changing the passcode requirement or the screen lockout or or any in the passcode restriction so always the compliance policy will take precedence over the configuration policy and this compliance policy actually it's defined the rule and settings 
that that a user and devices must meet the compliance right so if any devices will violate uh, the compliance policy or become non compliant based on the on the security settings you will see right uh, on the on the device side so now now you you know right what is the uh, what is the difference between the compliance and configurations policy now understand the compliance policy understand there are two parts of compliance policy here in the intune there is one compliance policy settings this one which is actually inbuilt so if you go to uh, let me go to the device sections here and then compliance policy so there is two part of of this compliance policy one is device compliance policy setting and one is device compliance policy so maybe you confuse i am also confused but don't worry i am going going to explain about so that you will get clear so what is the compliance policy setting right so compliance policy setting is the tenant wide setting so if you make changes here it will apply to the your tenant wide whether it's ios or android windows mac or linux right and this is that are like on built on built in compliance policy that every devices will receive as soon as they enroll their devices right so this is the so if you see here mark devices with no compliance compliance policy assigned is so if you want to mark devices with no compliance policy if you want to assign compliant then even if the compliance policy is not applied it will mark as compliant let it i would recommend it's recommended to i mean i would recommend to select is not this i mean select is not compliant right so that you can apply the device compliance policy which is custom don't use the built in custom built in device compliance policy right you can also enable the jailbreak detections you see here the jailbreak detection is only for ios devices and it will also invoke the user location so it's recommended you can enable it it will decrease the performance you see this may impact battery life because it will keep location data and this compliance policy validity so you want to check whether uh, your the default value is set you can increase or decrease it so after 45 days after 90 days whatever you can meet these rules right so this is and you can click on save so now once you disable this one now you 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 can you need to create the device compliance policy here right so you just create compliance policy you can select any windows 10 mac whatever android enterprise ios so sort of like like i have already created so i am not going to create so so this is the uh, compliance policy right and you see i have selected jailbreak and is block minimum operating system passcode is required block alpha numeric these are the settings and and based on the uh, you can uh, define the whether the mark devices are compliant you can send the notification and all this right so with the same setting if you if you go to back go back and click on the configuration policy and if you create a new policy with the same settings like for ios okay setting templates or or you can yeah setting catalogs create next and like say uh ios okay config profile okay next add settings here uh passcode right let me because in the in the in the if you remember in in the uh, compliance policy we have enable the passcode right so here i will select all these settings okay close this one and you see required passcode on devices so if you configure like this right minimum guest period five what but the same setting which ever in the compliance policy right automated device log and clicking next you can sign these scopes and click on next and you can assign to all users and devices whatever you want or you, you can assign to the groups 
so I am going to assign to all users okay next then okay so what will happen now so what will happen now if you assign this config profile configurations profile and this uh, compliance profile with the same uh, devices right the policy will conflict of course and this compliance policy will track precedence so don't configure like this if you are if you want to apply the um, compliance policy just apply the compliance policy if you want to invoke something to enforce the users to uh, set the device uh, set the set the pin code or passcode just just create the uh, just create the configurations profile right you know the most of the companies compliance policies required so so I would prefer you to go through the uh, create the compliance policy and use that compliance policy but for Android maybe you need to use configurations profile along with the compliance policy but don't say use the same settings or configurations in both the profiles okay i hope you have learned how what is the difference between compliance policy and uh, configurations policy and and one of the most important during the policy conflict if the conflict setting are from the intune configuration policy and the compliance policy the setting in the compliance policy will take precedence over the setting in there. so this happened even in the setting in the confidence of has are more secure right so even in if you uh, conf if you the if you configure anything uh, more restrictive in the configuration profile the compliance policy will take precedence so don't create both the profile at the same setting just to avoid the conflict and just enjoy being as a expert of intune admin till then thank you have a good day bye bye thank you